the past couple of weeks, uh, the wheat markets have been kind of two things. I mean, Minneapolis has held relatively stable, if not strengthened a little bit. It's been in the 530, 35, 40 range. Um, whereas Chicago and Kansas City got hammered really hard as we went into first delivery date, down into 375 type of range for Chicago, but it's bounced back since. So the market has found a bit of a bid. We know that getting under $4 in both KC and Chicago is pretty cheap. We saw the deliveries, the market bounced back. Uh, we've seen strength in the bean market, that kind of leads the corn market, and that kind of helps the wheat market. But make no mistake, there's a lot of wheat still in the world. Bear, who is the Australian version of Stats Canada, if you will, came out with a crop of 32.6 million tons. Last year's crop was just over 24, and never before have the Aussies ever made a crop over 30. So they're looking at a record crop. Um, Stats Canada came out this morning with bread wheat at about 24 million tons, Durham at about three and three quarter million, seven and three quarter million tons, excuse me. Both numbers higher than expected. Um, you could argue that there isn't 24 million tons, that there's maybe only 23 and a half because of uh, harvest. But either way, it's still lots of wheat. So wheat's still going to have to churn through a lot of its, uh, a lot of stocks to get into a sort of significant rally. Minneapolis can maybe get into the 540s, up to 550, I would say we'd be completely out and hedged. Um, there's probably still room in KC in the low $4 range to maybe see a rally up into four and a quarter. But again, the amount of wheat that's out there in the world is gonna keep a lid on, on US futures values.